So today we're covering yet another song theft and this is the second we're covering on the channel. The first we covered on the channel was Shakira and how she stole the Waka Waka song. I still cannot believe what she said about how she walked from the barn to the house and boom, it came to me. Walked from the barn to the house and on that walk, boom, it came to me. I'm going to put a card up here or put a link down below in the comment section. You can go check it out and then come back or when you're done with this, you check it out. So recently I found out that the Lion King's theme song, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, was stolen from a South African. The Lion Sleeps Tonight is a song that was originally written by a South African man named Solomon Linda, born in the year 1902. And the original title of this song, as given by Solomon Linda, the owner of the song, was Imbube. Imbube is a Zulu word that means lion, and that was the title of the original song. This is a picture of Solomon Linda, and this is a picture of him and his group members. The group was called The Evening Birds for Gallo Records, South Africa. Mbube, or The Lion Sleeps Tonight, as it is more popularly known, is a 1939 Zulu recording by Solomon Linda and his group, The Evening Birds for Gallo. I downloaded and listened to the original version of Mbube today, and I cannot tell you that it did not bring tears to my eyes. For several reasons, I just could not hold back the tears. Um, listening to the original version, how melodic it was, it was like penetrating deep down into my soul. To think that Solomon Linda created such a beautiful song, and then they came from the shadows like they always do. Saw so how beautiful and melodious it was created covers and then they copyrighted it gave credits to the people they choose to give credit to while throwing solomon linda out the window acting like he never existed to begin with Mbube was a hit in South Africa and was destined for bigger things. However, in 1951, an American group called The Weavers recorded an adaptation they called Wimbowe. They called their adaptation Wimbowe because when they listened to the original by Solomon Linda and his group, they were hearing Wimbowe, 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 Wimbowe. So that was how they titled their song Wimbowe. At this point, whilst literally taking cues from an already existing song, I can't help but wonder what sort of demon goes on to copyright a cover. What type of person goes to copyright an adaptation, give royalties to someone who created a cover? In 1961, producers Hugo and Lugi hired Brie Building, Tune Smith, George, David Wells to add lyrics to Wimbleway and it became... The Lion Sleeps Tonight. It's an unmatched story of cultural appropriation and exploitation, revealing how despite Solomon Linda's Mbube composition became a worldwide phenomenon when it was re-recorded as The Lion Sleeps Tonight, earning millions of sales and publishing royalties for record companies and Disney studios both in Africa and abroad. With all the success of this song, after all this, the composer of Mbube and his family continued to wallow in poverty because some people with horns, people with horns made it so for their selfish interest. I do hope hell exists. It just has to. So the song was blowing up. Now back in South Africa, there's a question of who actually owns the song. So Solomon Linda wrote the song and performed it with his group, which was on that Gallo record at the time. So, in order to resolve the question of ownership of Mbube in South Africa, Solomon Linda signed away his rights to Mbube to Gallo Records under the copyright assignment agreement concluded prior to his death. Fam, Solomon Linda could not read. So, this document, which Linda probably did not fully understand, was then used as a basis for Gallo's publishing copyright and control of Mbube, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, allowing Gallo to collect all recording publishing worldwide royalties for Mbube. Thankfully, this wasn't the sad, sad ending when, in 2000, South African journalist Ran Malan wrote an expose for Rolling Stone embarrassing several major players in the music publishing world and attracting lawyers to Linda's family. Justice seemed close at hand, but it wasn't going to be that easy because before now, Linda had given away his rights to the song and ownership for Mbube, Wimbowe, and The Lion Sleep Tonight was a tangled mess. Mbube was buried beneath two layers of pop arrangement and two titles, but it was still Linda's melody and concept. 
it is a very sad story fam like very very sad story i cannot go through every single detail in this video but i'm going to link down below in the description if you want to go check it out yourself one of the posts which i got my information from which i am going to be referencing down below says solomon linda's story of mbube and the lion sleep tonight is an extremely tragic case of exploitation and cultural appropriation it also reminds one of the history of rock and roll music which was was started by black artists like Little Richard, who never got the full financial benefits or cultural recognition for their creativity. How this world work would continue to baffle me. Sometimes I talk about karma, but I can't see the karma in this situation. Most of the times we don't even see karma at all. His reward is in heaven, like we always say, right? But I would have preferred if he got some of that reward here on earth. Every other person, their family and dog, grabbed the umbube and had a taste of it and are still having a taste from it, while Solomon Linda and his family were left throat dry. Solomon Linda died in the year 1962. He had the equivalent of $22 in his bank account. His widow couldn't even afford a gravestone for him. Some stipends have been given to the family over the years. Yes, I call them stipends. Stipends, fam. Stipends have been given to the family over the years, but no, no, we, we can't even measure to the kind of success that this song, no, 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 no. It's a very sad, heart-crunching story, guys. Like, I, I can't even begin to express how I feel. After finding out about the story, then I listened to the original Mbube song, God, that thing got to my soul. And I wish the people who listened to it from the beginning had souls. Because if they had souls, they would know to credit the original. You cannot listen to the original song that you would not get some sort of feeling inside. If, ah, no, it penetrates, fam. It penetrates. And how people can listen to something that beautiful, something like that, and then you steal it, and then you do all you did. And, and no, 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 no. Do let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are. If you are aware of any of these kind of stories as well, please let me know down below in the comment section. Let's have this conversation down below, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one.